This is Daniel Cook learning about the desert. I'm here with Jordan, and today he's going to teach me about the desert and maybe even let me touch a scorpion. Hi, Jordan. Hi, Daniel. This is Daniel Cook on a bike, in a plane, on a farm, playing games with many places and friendly faces. We'll have lots of fun with Daniel Cook. How do plants survive with no rain? Well, there's two different ways. One of them is um, some plants have very long roots that go all the way down, very deep into the ground. Cactus, they actually conserve water from when it rains very, very rarely. So what they'll do is they'll absorb all the water and they'll be able to live for another year or two without any water at all. You know why I like the desert? Why do you like the desert? Because there's lots of snakes and scorpions. Yeah, there's a lot of neat animals in here. We just got to find them. You know what my favorite animal is? Uh, scorpions? <laughs> yeah, very cool. I saw a, a big spider in my garage. It was like, not big. It was like, well, it was like. Can we look at some of the desert animals now? For sure, um, but before we do that, let's go have a look at some of the habitat and plants back here. Ready? And cacti? And cacti. That one there has little spikes, and if you touch them, they'll actually come off on your finger and it hurts quite a bit when that happens. And you have to get tweezers and you have to pull it all out for hours. So don't pet that one, okay? Remember that. See this plant here? Do you know what it's called? No, it's called aloe vera. Um, the short form name of it is called aloe. Now why don't you have a feel? What does it feel like? Mm, give, smooth. Give it a bit of a pinch. It kind of feels a little bit squishy. Yeah. Now, here, I'm gonna show you something. When we take a little bit of it off, see that goopy stuff in there? Yeah. If you, if you have a sunburn and you rub this on your skin, then that will actually ease the pain of the sunburn. So it won't hurt as much if you put this on. It smells really bad. Yeah, it does smell kind of yucky. Daniel, what does this smell like? It Great. smells like a vegetable. So all desert plants have spikes instead of leaves? Not all desert plants, but the xerophyte plants pretty much always have spikes. The phreatophyte plants have very long roots that go deep into the ground where they absorb all the water from the water table. Yeah, That's why see they that, can... This guy's got leaves, thorns, and flowers. Exactly, yep. He can absorb all the water and he, uh, he can use up as much water as he likes. <laughs> Let me use. This is Daniel Cook looking at desert animals. Daniel, you ready to look at some animals? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I brought some of these guys, some of my little friends from Jungle Cat World Safari Zoo Camp. Daniel, this is a leopard gecko from the Middle East. It smells funny. Yeah, he does. I think he likes me. <laughs> I think he does too. And I think he likes freedom. So here's the next animal found in Eastern Africa. What kind of snake is he? He's called a Kenyan sand boa. That's actually. Can I touch this guy? Yeah, go for it. He's not venomous at all. He's actually a constrictor. So they're actually really good pets, too. A lot of people like to keep them as pets. But you want to. Oh. I want to keep him. I want to get, get him as a pet. But I don't yeah. think my mom will let me. I don't no. think she likes snakes that much. He's digging? That's with exactly. His head? With his head. Now, if you look carefully, you can see the ground moving wherever he's going. Now, this guy here, he pushes all the dirt away with his nose, and he keeps on pushing until he can hide his whole body under the ground. It's neat to think that when you're, that when you're in the desert, you can see there's all these things living in the dirt beneath you. Yeah. Daniel, would you like to see your favorite desert animal? A scorpion? Yeah. Ready? <laughs> this here. Remember what, what kind of scorpion this is? It's called an emperor scorpion. Emperor scorpions are found in Africa. Are they the biggest kind of scorpion ever? They're the second largest species of scorpion in the world. He can really cool scorpion. Yeah, he's really big. Now, if you want to put your hands out, flat, both of them, I need both your hands out. I'm going to let them walk onto your hands. Ready? Is 
Isn't that cool? Yeah, it tickles. Yeah, he has a big red stinger. That's to tell you to be careful when you're around him and not to bother him. I always think it's a good idea to remember that, that they're, they're more afraid of you than you are afraid of them. Exactly. Thank you so much, Jordan, for teaching me about the desert. I had a lot of fun. And thank you for showing me all the neat animals, especially the scorpions. Well, thanks for helping, and I hope you had a good time. Thanks. I did.